What's up, hybrids? This is Hanako from the Phantom Hybrid Podcast. You are about to listen to our discussion for The Ones Who Live, Episode 5, and I just wanted to come on and apologize in advance for the low audio quality in certain parts of this recording. We recorded this episode live at my house and the setup was a little bit different and um, the microphone just didn't pick up on certain parts where we were excited. Our pitch was a little bit higher on our voices. So there are some instances of missing audio and um, I did my best to fix it and couldn't but we still wanted to get this episode out to you so again i apologize for the low quality and next week we hope to have those kinks ironed out so that we can deliver our normal standard for our recordings thanks for listening what's up hybrid really (laughs) really right in the middle i'm sorry sorry. let's try that again What's up, hybrids? Welcome back to another episode of the Phantom Hybrid Podcast. This is Hanako, and I am here in person with Casey and Michelle, and we are discussing episode five of The Ones Who Live. And um, let's start with the beginning of the episode Absolutely. and the way we all lost our shit when Mr. Father Gabriel Stokes walked his ass up in this episode. I was not yes. expecting him at all. At not all. all. The last person I expected to see. I was expecting the last. Like, we've been making guesses of like Heath or Silas or Virgil uh, Virgil or who else did we say? I think there were a couple of other names thrown out. I, I saw people throwing around Morgan. I was not thinking... Gabriel at all but it makes sense because he was the person Mm -hmm. that had the closest connection Mm -hmm. to her in Alexandria Mm -hmm. so even though this is not the Gabriel and Aaron spinoff that I'm still wanting seeing him again was he made it to the end so we never know yes that's true he made it to the end that's true but it was good seeing him yes and it was very very interesting because but you know what that could have been our clue that Jada was going to die no, you know what? To me, that should have been our clue, right? Because what was he showing up for? Other than to wrap up her story, the clue, right? That is true. Other than to wrap up her that story, why would There'll he show be up? No other reason. Because none of us would think yeah. that he would be the one to show mm-hmm. up. What other reason would he have to show up than to, to wrap her story? Wrap her story up. Except we should know once he showed up, she was gonna die. Well, or it could have been that could have been her having that remembrance could have been the catalyst for her to change. Which, of course, you see this after she already has accepted that she's dying. Not that she's changing, but she kind of has a... She's still still on the fence a little bit. You kind of see a little more vulnerability with her. But, um, yeah, I was like, after after the episode, I was like, okay, well, the the promo or the recap from the first episode should have been our indication that she was going to die. Because it talks, because it showed the clip of her talking about, in the event of my death, Mm-hmm. There's a file left behind, blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. blah. That would be the reason why they go back to. But no, because our first yeah, thing yeah. was that she was going to be the one to take over. So none of us pictured her dying. Oh I no, I y'all, her, y'all yeah, didn't do so. I was the one who thought that she was going to that okay. she was going to live and take over. But yeah. I mean, while okay. they, both of us said that she might show up in another series. Yes, yeah, so I was mm-hmm. like, eventually if she, she probably didn't die. Will. Yeah, mm-hmm. if she did, okay. yeah. But I think we were both. I think we kind of were open, like, I know Michelle said something about, no, she's not going to die because she's got to show up in something else or she's got to show up somewhere else. And I really thought she was going to be the one to take over because I was like, she can't have made it this far and done all of the shit that she has done just to die. That's right. But But we did say she was going to be petty enough to look for them. Yeah. Now that we call that. Petty is petty does. We call that. She but, you just see what she, but you see what she got for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pettiness does not. Uh, she could have just left it alone. She should have. She could have. She really or, could have. Or like Michelle said, she made her mistake. She should have killed us while we were sleeping. Yeah. yeah. Because how you think you've already voiced out loud that you feel like Rick and Michonne can do anything together. Mm-hmm. First of all, handcuff him to the bed, tie him to the bed. He only got one hand, so that didn't make sense to me, number one. She should have one-handed him in, in, around the little thingy. 
Because if you put both hands in, oh, I'm not going to do it this. <laughs> right. And then I'm mad at her because before all of this happened, the, you know, the apocalypse, before it happened, did she not watch any shows about villains? Like when they explain themselves, they never make it out. She, you got to kill first. I say and why they're dying, time. explain yourself. Like she did not, when she was dying. They didn't watch, no, the, they didn't watch the Incredibles. They didn't, no, they didn't watch not, Syndrome making his whole speech about monologuing i say this every time a bad guy starts doing it and it doesn't matter what show i'm watching i'm like y'all didn't listen because she could have still been alive she could have still been alive monitoring them mm -hmm. from afar mm -hmm. thinking okay they may be still alive but i'll just keep an eye out and make sure right. they do not harm the crm that's what you could have done mm -hmm. and left it alone but you went mm -hmm. and you had to chase them mm -hmm. and now what do you have to show for it Nothing. You no, what you have to show for it is for them to go back, which they didn't have plans and to, and to tear it down. So now you have done exactly what you, you should have left them happen. alone and let them so. go. But okay, overzealous. Y'all yeah. did say she was going to go back and check. Y'all did say she that. did. Yeah. yeah she... But okay, the attention to, to detail in the show because she was like, yeah, she was like. It was kind of weird that both of y'all perished. She was like, but you know, we went back. We saw that the building was, you know, the helicopter was gone. But something was nagging me. Back. So go look. And I saw you, your building had collapsed. But there's some things that I remember. And I remember that bright ass, yellow ass truck Hello. on the street that's not dead. Not there. I was Delts, like, oh. Delts just out on the street dead. Who killed them? Yeah. Been. And then the ramen noodle pack. Ramen as you go, as you go. She said, "Y'all left breadcrumbs, ramen noodle packs all along Highway 90, which is the direct." Stopping to look at every goddamn thing, like no, oh, she's an investigator. That's what oh, she does. That's, that's true. That's what she does. And if you're looking for them, she's like, and here they, what about and here they thought they got away, so there wouldn't be any reason to like. What was the color of the package? Anyway, they were orange. They were like bright orange. Bright orange. Yeah, out in the street. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if yeah. you if you're seeing it, but you know what? I, I also feel like this. I don't think they would have been just leaving them out on the street. I mean, you see them every time we've seen them. Most mostly in this episode, they're in the woods. So mm -hmm. she had to have like. Yeah, but like that one time when they were on the side of the building, she probably went to the side of the building. There was fire there. Mm -hmm. And then on the side, trash can filled of orange yeah. noodle packs. Yeah. Sure. Or I'm sorry, nude packs. Tasty nudes. Tasty <laughs> nudes. No, tasteful nudes. Tasteful that's nudes. what it was. Oh. Tasteful nudes. I like that. Yeah. I like that. I like, oh, that's cute. I don't think it's tasteful nudes, though. <laughs> Maybe no man. Right. Mm -hmm. The sexual bucket list. <laughs> and I <ooh. laughs> yeah, yes, you can send tasteful news. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. There you go. Okay. Artistic. Absolutely. It, it's about all about angles. Yeah. It's all about <laughs> angles. The big thing is tasty news. We're talking about in this show. They're talking about a whole different other tasty news. But um, so yeah, so Jada's she she found them. Mm -hmm. She and, you know, she did the little monologue. And then here's the thing. You give Michonne the zip ties and say, tie him up and then tie yourself up. So were you so scared to get so close to them that you didn't go back and check to make sure she didn't leave something loose? Like, yes. she, she literally sits But there's literally and... no way. Imagine this hand just slide the hell off. What, what, what I'm hooking? You hooking? Yeah, and you, I, this will stay on. Right. But if I put something here... It, Oh, this is all you got to do. But even like, come on. But even so, like he has his hand like this, and you can see when when the camera angles over there, you can see his arm just sitting over there. But I was like, this? wow. But what I'm saying is, this arm still is supposed to be tied. Why didn't you go back and? Check? That's what I said. Why she didn't? Tie because them I'm not. Different. I am not getting close to them. I know. I'm not. I'm he alone. Close to them still I am not like Thank you. I would have took myself. myself. Right, no. Plus, mm -hmm. These two, just Ooh. like those three idiots earlier in the episode. Remember, I told y'all I saw a preview of a girl behind the show, and I was like, "Well, I don't think it's anybody important because all they're doing 
introducing new people into this ep- uh into this show and they them killing on. them so we were like okay it's not anybody we should get like attached to and definitely not these three idiots you know no. you're, you're in trouble two strangers come out help, help you. you they give you some of their tasteful nudes <laughs> And, and you, you want it all. It but you know out. what? You know what it reminded me of? Daryl with Dwight, Sherry, and Tina. I was like, mm. you know what? Somebody helping y'all. And y'all just gonna sit here and try to rob them mm. and try to do whatever. First of all, your your problem was when y'all want to sit here and say the little quote that y'all live by, you turn and look at each other to say the quote, taking your eyes off the people. Who just came and saved your asses. And it was so funny. Also, y'all not reading the room. Because as soon as y'all did that, Michonne was sitting there with that crazy smile again. Like, oh, this is what we doing today? Okay. Right. Y'all want to take this back? And no, give me my noodles. And, and, right. and, and like, give me, you sure you don't want to roll this back? Put it in reverse. reverse. Before you can't oh, yeah. put it in reverse. Go back to the part where y'all said thank, thank you. you. And, and we can go by our deal. But no, y'all, y'all want to sit here because... Well, one, because this dude is bigger. He thought. He, he thought. thought. And then it's three of y'all. Y'all thought. You thought. And then you got your asses handed to you. Mm-hmm. You got your food taken. You your should... brother over here done pissed his pants because he done got scared. Like, the clue should have been they cleaned. They got a whole sack and pack. She got a stick. And they're able to defend themselves very easily. Right. You should have known when they killed the Walker with the with the with the with his with the calcification. Yeah, y'all, one y'all couldn't even kill. Right. Like, that would have been a clue. I... Oh. So honestly, this episode should not be have become. It should be f around and find out. Because you know? <laughs> two people, well, two two groups, f around and find out. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. and you don't have no noodles now. So you messed yourself up. Right. No weapon. And he gonna he gonna kick rocks. Oh, you think about no noodles? Oh yeah, you just care about something. Oh, you your mouth was watering, watering. Because when the when the old girl took him, she was like, "Really? Really? Yeah, no, y'all, no, you bad for a ramen right about now. Just dumb. Not want to be greedy. Right? You have no noodles. Right. But okay, let's let's talk about some of the fun stuff that Rick and Michonne found on this little trip. First of all, I want to say they have my name on the license plates, spelled correctly. The correct spell K A C E Y. And Michonne was in the in the frame, so when I get home, I will be taking a picture, <laughs> and that's gonna be my um my uh header on Facebook because Michonne knows me now. She know my name. Because they don't just randomly just pick names. Yes. Like, Casey spell like that is nowhere. Nowhere. Right. Hey, nowhere. boo. I nowhere. love you. <laughs> and I'm going like to be all like you. <laughs> because my name was featured on the necklace. May not be spelled exactly like Michelle. I spell it, but it was on there, and he broke it off yeah. to make her. They know her necklace. They know us. Well, I can't Casey say that because Michelle. you're not going to find Hanukkah on <laughs> <laughs> This is not going to happen unless I go to, unless they happen to stop by a Japanese store. I mean, she's got to get a sword. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey, she's got hey. I mean, it mm-hmm. might happen. But not, not just the, the cute little thing. Okay, so Rick finding the junior tag and was like, what yeah. is a good gift for our family? don't nobody call him that. Yeah. She's like, nobody yeah. has ever called him <laughs> <the> junior. <laughs> <laughs> but instead, you pick up an axe. A, axe, a mini axe. Well, this will be a good souvenir for him. Right. And he was like, but is that him? She was like, Judas has a sword. They are us. Yeah. So, yeah. And I mean, look, nobody else is really teaching their children how to fight. No, they're not. They're letting Judas do it. But Michonne is about to come home and be like, oh, okay, so you you a couple of years past your training. It's not your fault. I wasn't here. Mm -hmm. You know, and we're about to go kick the asses of the people who kept me from you. So, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. But I thought that was cute. But also, excuse me, Johnny Walker Black Label, like, yes. really? A the good bottom? No one touched it either. Mm. Man. Well, I'm sure that many people are, even before the apocalypse, ain't staying at Yellowstone like that. So I'm sure it was Ranger Station. 
you know, something he had. Right. Anybody said like that. We know exactly where we are right and now. And Wyoming. Yes. Yellowstone National Park. Finally. Oh, we a actually, definite location. Right. And, and a famous location, too. Like, yeah. we actually have an actual factual Mm-hmm. location mm-hmm. that that they're mm-hmm. in and it was it was nice to kind of see something like that because we don't you know a lot of the locations that we see are like just these obscure places or whatever or made up places because believe me y'all should have seen them they were like detectives because <laughs> everything they're sitting there google we were trying to find the what was it three three pounds yeah. trail and the the it's one in Pennsylvania it's- yeah well, well he was like one George. No, not George. It was one in Pennsylvania. It's one in Polynesia. Yeah, that was the main one, the yeah. first one that came up. But yeah, in Polynesia. In Polynesia. Oh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, that was like the right, right. Right. But when they go into the hut cabin, uh, yeah, it's like I think it was like probably ranger the station. Of, yeah, the ranger station. It says clearly Yellowstone. National yeah, Park. because they're looking for Jadis at that point. Mm-hmm. Who has come across the three people that they let go? after whipping the ass but here i was like so when rick and michonne left them they basically were telling them don't be an asshole to people like we could kill you right now Mm -hmm. because how do we know you're not going to try to do this to the next person you come across Mm -hmm. they basically like just promise us that you're not going to do this they were like why would y'all care about other people like it's 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 you know, look out for yourself. I'm like, if that was the case, that y'all y'all would have been, been yeah. They would have let you, they would have left y'all to the walkers, and they would have been on their happy little business. Mm-hmm. So you better be thankful that someone in this world still has a mindset of, hey, let's help these people, let's save these people. Yeah, and I don't have to, you don't have to give me anything mm-hmm. for it. And we're trying to help you it. by giving you food. Right. You look the gift horse in the mouth. But then the next person they come across happens to be Jadis. And I was like, no, that's the one y'all really should be killing at right. this point. But no, the people the people who saved y'all told y'all to be nice to people. So I was like, she don't fix. <laughs> yeah, the plan in the back. And, and they just jumped out the bed. They just walked out the bed. In time, they got comfortable as fucking bed and somebody done woke their up. First time it was Jesus. They well, was in the bed yeah. comfortable. That's yeah, that true. And Jay, uh, Jesus came and walked in. That, that's hard. That's what I'm saying. Well, well, come, come on, on now. now. You had you some yeah. black label Johnny Walker. And probably had some good sex after that. Right. So, so yeah, they probably were sleeping good. Y'all are still in the apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And well, y'all know y'all left red and them with a gun. But to be fair, well, one, Rick said they weren't going to come after them. And they, they weren't stupid yes. enough. To, and he did set a trap. It's just that Jadis is familiar with them so she knew she what knew. to look yeah. for mm-hmm. somebody else may not have they or you have. know if it was a walker a walker would have triggered the trap mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so you can't blame them for getting a little comfortable they've been antsy still on, on, on all of this because i mean we're we're fortunate that nothing happened in the apartment but right. even still y'all are it's like on the run you on the run mm-hmm. but you you relaxing so much of your safety nets interesting of your, of your... interesting that we have said this when we talked about daryl yeah that as, 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 the years have gone, <laughs> as the years have gone on they probably have gotten yeah they probably, probably don't think it's as many dicks in the world as and, there and are so you know they that they are like they're on top of the food chain so they like they can handle Pretty, they actually can handle pretty much anything. So yes, it nothing seems like a threat. But I mean, they probably didn't think Jadis was going to come look for them. Because, and because they had like they two had different helicopter. two different traps for her, and she got through them. So Yeah. Because yeah. I mean, she was sitting there like, yeah, let me take this off. But they, they probably weren't thinking. I mean, think about it. If they've gotten from Oregon to, to Yellowstone all this time and the only thing that they've dealt with is walkers and those three dumb people in, in the forest, mm-hmm. they probably realize that there's not a lot of people maybe in that area. Mm-hmm. So not saying that they let their guard down completely, but they're in a secure location right now. Like I said, they've set traps. They are probably just like, okay, they've probably been on the run, you know, since then trying to trying to put as much distance between them and Oregon as they can. Yeah. So they probably have been like stressed and on all edges. And this was the first chance they got to just kind of 
relax because they couldn't even really do that where they were because the building was falling apart. Right. But I feel like once they got in that car, they were relaxed. Like they driving down the road, like this is a uh traveling, you know, vacation, well, a road trip, a road trip mm -hmm. and stuff, kissing they find hands. It so right. So they had they were a, relaxed. What the soul like there was so machine they were, tastes like oh, after, after eight years. <laughs> Horrible. Ugh. It's not really it's not even carbonated no more. Oh, oh, it's just syrup. <laughs> and just eight years, remember, it's been eight years, nine years since. The bridge had oh, this yeah. year, years before oh, that. Oh. Oh. No, remember when um we don't know what the time frame was when uh Tara found those pops for Denise in that cooler. Yeah, but, but that those would probably been a little fresher. Yeah, you know, but that's different. that was still that was still like early Alexandria days. So because I mean Judith was still little little then. So mm -hmm. that was only a few years after the apocalypse. Mm -hmm. This is by all mm -hmm. I wouldn't drink it. Well, I mean, if you haven't had it in a while, it's not and like... you know what? It probably tastes good, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like it is carbonated. Mm -hmm. It's not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It tastes like that stuff you that you drink when you're up, pregnant so. that got the pop taste. But then... It's all that sugar. Yeah. That's probably exactly what it's Mine was like. orange. It was yeah. like orange soda. Soda, but not. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what they yeah. That's exactly what he drank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But yeah, they was a nice, relaxed. They were in each other's company. The weight of the world is off of them. No one is coming after them. You know what? It and if they run me into of, anybody, you remember they when they were on on the little road trip? The you know the scene with the van and uh -huh. them going to the school and um, finding the um, the MREs. Oh, uh huh. Yeah, it, it kind of reminded oh, me mm -hmm. like a second honeymoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then because even with him finding the drink and the toothpaste, and she was like, "What you up to, Mr. Ryan?" Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, gave her a necklace. Right, gave her the necklace, and he was like, "He was like, I'm just working with what I got." I was like, "Okay, yeah, okay. okay." So we were talking about this uh, in his dream sequence. Michelle was like, "Rick, you were not that smooth uh -uh. at the beginning of this show," mm -hmm. so he got a little confidence now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm like, make make sure you fall in love with me again. I'll but see, love my here it goes hand. though. It is because of who he's in love with is how he's responding. Mm -hmm. So he he didn't have that with his first wife. You know, <laughs> <laughs> we're not about to start this right now. When we came into their <laughs> relationship, they were struggling. So he was giving her what she was giving back. Mm -hmm. So he's quiet, right? You know, he probably tried to be lovey dovey. But you know, mm -hmm. she wasn't about that. But now he got a woman who like, heals him me, up. Me, me. Yes. Give me the love. Yes. It's like ride or die. Oh, right. definitely. You know ride what I'm saying? Make him better. And she was like, oh, we ain't leaving this motherfucker apartment. Right. Until we back on the same day, sir. Right. Yeah. Now, side note, everyone, what we're trying to say, especially since last week, about being soulmates, okay? And that she is the love of his life, Michonne. That doesn't give away about his first wife at all. He could have still loved her, but sometimes you find your soulmate later in life. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you even find it when you're younger, but you end up marrying someone else. But that don't take away from their relationship. They had Carl. Yeah. But this relationship is better. It feeds his soul better. Mm -hmm. It makes him a better man. Mm -hmm. While the other one, I'm well, not going to say her name. That's not. That's not. It, we don't, you don't even have to finish that sentence because everybody pretty much knows. If you go into the comments of the last video we did, you will see how people feel about yeah. that one. So, so we're, we're all together on that. We this is a better fit for them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Back to the episode. Yeah. Okay. So let's come off Michonne and Rick for a little bit. I want to go back to Jadis and Gabriel. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, we only saw like the beginnings of what could have been between them before everything happened in The Walking Dead. And again, I've been going back and forth looking at different clips. And um, so, yes, the first time she captured him, um, when she stole him, when they stole him from Alexandria, she was planning to give him to the CRM. And then, of course, Rick and them came and, and, you know, bargained for him. And that didn't happen. And then the second time, when she went back to the heaps to call the CRM and Gabriel's, you know, he, he followed her, found out about it. She was going to give him up again then. Then she was going to kill him. And he was like, look, you're trying to be somebody that, that you are not anymore and people still blaming you for the old stuff. 
he was like, it's my fault, you know, for, you know, you just asked me to go with you and, and to have faith in you. And I couldn't do that. And I'm so sorry. And I know this, you know, you feel like you have to do this. If that's the case, I forgive you. And that kind of, you know, made her stop and he went on his way. And then of course, you know, she disappeared. So we see, um, we see them meeting up like the first scene that we see in the show or of this episode is of the figure walking, attacking a walker, and you hear a helicopter overhead. And when he turns around and pulls the hood off, it's Gabriel. So, you know, we're like, oh, okay. So Gabriel's in here. Is Gabriel the one that's chasing after him? Mm -hmm. Because, of course, we didn't know at that point. But basically, what it's doing is introducing Gabriel so that we can kind of see that one. Miss Jade is Miss, uh, Miss I'm ride or die for the CRM. You've been having these little side visits back to not necessarily Alexandria, but close enough that you have been meeting with Gabriel once a year for the last three years. Mm -hmm. You are such a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. You are so loyal to the CRM. They are the last light of the world. You can't go back. Nobody can leave or... Uh, but you going back to see your old boo thing. Right. Not once. Not twice. Twice. What's no, it was twice. He didn't three. Three, uh -huh. three years ago. Two three years, years ago. ago. Two years ago. Oh, yeah, one year ago. ago. Okay. And then the this current year, year that, that this Thank would have been the fourth mm -hmm. year. But you, so did she go back for them? If this was the same period she was supposed to be meeting Gabriel? Did she go? Because Gabriel is now. Gabriel is now waiting for her, yeah. and she don't show up because clearly she did. Because, but was was that you know what I'm saying? Was she on her her intentional original mission to go see him? No, I just think it's just showing us around that time him just waiting for her mm -hmm. and realizing that and she's not realizing that she's not she's coming, coming because at this point she's yeah. dead. So okay. so it's also giving us a way to kind of line up the timeline yeah. in another yeah, way, right. mm -hmm. um, just to give us an indication. So, um, well, I I liked it because. It gave us a little bit depth into her. I know we wanted her to die and everything, but you can see that she's still struggling. Like, I'm all for the CRM, but I'm not liking, I'm liking where we're trying to go, but not the process. But she's and still I'm doing it. But, I, but, she was, but like she was saying, I'm, it's a struggle. Every year is still a struggle. Mm -hmm. It's a struggle to do it, but I know it's for the, the better. I just want to know what the Esselon report is. Briefly. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. it, it has these people committed right. yeah, to the cause. Right. Yeah. Because and she's committed to the cause, but you still have doubts. And he was at least helping her get through the doubts. And it shows that at any point in time, if you had, like, if he was around more around her, then he could probably convince her, like, maybe this isn't the way to go. Mm -hmm. But he did a great job even in the once a year. Yeah, he did. He did. Because when she ain't kill him after he fell on, uh, you know, knocked him to the ground or whatever. It was like, if you don't kill me, then kill me then shit. And she but was like, not, she couldn't do it. She couldn't do it. She couldn't do it. Miss, I have people yeah. that I care about a lot back there too. Okay. But you know what? If her people didn't die the way they died, then she could have been turned towards better and not towards the CRM. I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think so. Because it's like, you have people to look out for it. Yeah. And she couldn't, like, you're in charge of this group and they're dead because of you. Mm -hmm. And you couldn't prevent that. Yeah. So now you're with a group that can, but damn, they're killing off other people. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but she gosh. also said when she was talking to, I don't remember if it was the conversation she had with Huck or if it was a conversation she was having with someone else. But she said something about, um, she was talking about her old group. And she said something about once upon a time, you know, I, I trust, I put my trust in the wrong people. Mm -hmm. And that got my, that got, everyone killed mm -hmm. and i know she was talking about negan at that point because mm -hmm. remember she had made again she back and forth back and forth back and forth but you know and i hate to say it she kind of got everything she deserved absolutely now her people they following her whatever they didn't deserve what simon did but simon was an asshole too you know mm -hmm. but but everything that did happen with, with her people the consequence of her mm -hmm. So, I mean, in essence, yeah, innocent people died, but it's it's because of her. Mm -hmm. Like, the things that she did, she laid the groundwork and the foundation for all this bad shit to start happening to herself. Yeah. And then you want to feel bad for her, but you don't, because you're like, bitch, you did this to that yourself. Like, now you want us to feel bad because all your people don't? We feel bad that the people died, but 
Fish oil comes from us. Mm -hmm. Right. But I like seeing that there was the connection with her and Gabriel. Because like you said, you do kind of see a different side of her, mm -hmm. which still didn't soften me towards her. I don't know. Because at this point, I'm like, okay, this stuff is what was in the past. But what we're seeing in this show is what you are doing now. So that means that no matter what information, advice, no matter what softening of the heart these meetings with Gabriel was doing, in the end, none of it took. Just a little bit, just a yeah, little bit, because yeah, it, she bit. still struggled mm -hmm. with killing him. She mm -hmm. did. She didn't make it seem like she. Was she struggling. did, and the one thing that she did, because she could have, she could have just died and not tell him where the report was. That, part. that was the, the only thing that made she, me. Yeah, she did. She gave yeah. him that, and she they didn't have to pull teeth, stick their finger in her neck, nothing, nothing. nothing. Once yeah. she realized she was dying, she was like, "This is the reason why I did the report. You will find it." In my left dresser, underneath my pajamas, <laughs> on the right side. Like she gave it up very mm -hmm. easily. And then say, please make sure not to tear down. She should have just kept her mouth closed. Because yeah. Michelle was yeah. like, we right. to the right. So that was a little bit left of her having those conversations with Gabriel. She was, she's still tinkering. Now, yes, yeah, she still should have died. However, I feel, I feel a little bit for her. just a little bit. I didn't. Just, just to, I only just if she had bit. been less petty about the whole thing, yes. maybe. Yeah. But petty Betty got what yes. she right. served. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But at least she didn't take petty to her deathbed. I'm just like, happy about that. Yeah. Okay. I'm just happy in, about that. In the end, she tried to make many amends. Yeah, yeah she, she did many, many. very many. And you, you know, it gave her like that bump up that last fifteen percent to twenty five percent. She gave the ring. To mm -hmm. ring and explain where the ring came from. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's talk about this whole ring thing. <sighs> so, during one of the meetings with Anne, Gabriel is telling her about. Oh, actually, she asked Gabriel, "How how's Rick's wife doing?" He's like, "Michelle, she's good." But why did you call her his wife? I was like, "Also, y'all wasn't like married, married." But like he said, "Well, I guess it doesn't matter." Yeah. In this day and age, it don't matter. But that just lets you know, in in Rick's mind, that's his wife, and that's probably what he was saying, saying to her. Can it be right? Yeah, because no, no other place has, has it been said that he that's his wife. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So clearly, there were conversations he was having with Jace. Jadis mm -hmm. prior to her even going to see uh, mm -hmm. Father Gabriel, saying. I probably I need to get back to my wife. I need to get back to my daughter. You know, so this was already in her mind because clearly they have conversations. Because you remember our deal and all of the other things. So they were having conversations, mm -hmm. and so that, that low key should have been a clue for Father Gabriel. Like, why? What you mean, why? Yeah. You know what I mean? And then she's like, she, she's she like, she like, like oh. isn't that what she was? Well, yeah, I'm like, I thought. Uh, I, think yeah, I guess you know like yeah. in, in theory I guess it yeah. don't matter if they had an actual ceremony because yeah. literally the whole the whole of civilization is pretty much done, done. Mm -hmm. so literally I could walk up to somebody and be like oh okay you know oh this day okay well you know what you my husband now or you my wife now who gonna say uh, let me yeah, see that's what Glenn and Maggie did yeah pretty much mm -hmm. I think the only like wedding wedding that we've actually seen was John and June in Fear the Walking Dead and that's because they actually happen to have a place yep, where they can do it. That's it. Mm -hmm. And they had their, their people mm -hmm. around them. But like who's going to ask them for a marriage license or you know? Mm -hmm. Where your proof at? My proof? Look. That's my proof. You're right. That's how Rick would be. But you know so Gabriel's telling her about this. Um, He's telling her about Rick wanting to marry Michonne before the bridge happened. And he said that he couldn't see it because he couldn't envision the future that Rick was mm -hmm. that Rick was talking about. And this was at the bridge and we know things were kind of this was right after the saviors. Things were very sticky with everybody. Mm -hmm. And um I think I do kind of sort of remember Gabriel just kind of be like, okay, you know, hey, we're here, we're we're making it, but he wasn't as hopeful. Mm -hmm. So I can see it. And then, of course, if if Jadis had, this was also right after probably Jadis had, you know, almost killed him. So he was probably 
depressed. You know, he thought him and Jadis had this thing going on. And so he probably was like, okay, whatever. Then the, you know, he said he goes to sit on the log to think about it. And there's a ring in the dirt. And for him, that was kind of his sign. Mm -hmm. He was going to give the ring to Rick or leave it somewhere so Rick could find it to give it to Michonne. And then the bridge happened mm -hmm. and he was still carrying it. Yeah. As like a sign of faith mm -hmm. and a sign of love. Mm -hmm. And then he turns around, he gives it to Jadis. What was it? The second year that they met? Mm -hmm. It was like, this is a sign of faith. This is a sign of love. You know, trying to give her something to hold on to because like you said, she is talking about how she's doing the things that she needs to do for the community that she's in now. She's talking about how cool she's having to be and mm -hmm. how this she's having to be. So you know Gabriel knows, oh, you being cruel, okay, that means you're out there killing right. people. Mm -hmm. And it's sitting on it's sitting and, on your conscience, yeah. but and not you know it's wrong. You, yeah. yeah. But not enough for you to stop. But yeah. here, this is something. Mm -hmm. There, there's still a part of you in there. I know yeah. it's there. Keep this as a token. Yeah. And apparently Jadis has been wearing it this whole time up under mm -hmm. her uniform. And she does give it to Rick at the end. And she was like, yeah, Gabriel told me you wanted to marry Michonne and blah, blah, blah. He meant to give this ring to you. And Rick was like, how in the world? I was like, <laughs> and he probably didn't think about it after that. But you have to sit there and think like, how would you know? with right. Gabriel unless you, you went back now mm -hmm. I think if he sits with that for a few days mm -hmm. or a few weeks mm -hmm. it may come back to him because mm -hmm. that happens when you're around somebody who's dying you start replaying back last mm -hmm. conversation mm -hmm. and stuff like that it's gonna he's gonna sit there and figure that out like this bitch been back home yeah mm -hmm. but then or at least in communication with somebody back home right but you've been in communication with other people with Gabriel specifically and you were still talking about sending... But that's what she said. It's even, it's even some people I like. That was more than like. You don't, you don't, come, you don't come back every, every year, year for yeah. like. No, she really... I she mean, she took him. the man last name. Yeah. Oh, so technically, they was married. <laughs> <laughs> now, now we're going to have some issues here because now we got to figure out like how this relationship was going with Rosita. See, that's what I'm like, because I'm like, I'm saying, is this one when they were in or out? No, because they've been meeting, no, over, they've been meeting over three years. Him and Rosita didn't break up until they got to the Commonwealth or until right before they got to the Commonwealth. Because remember, he went with Maggie and them on that um, echelon run. And when he came back, she was upset because she didn't want him to go in the first place. And then the next time we see them address anything that resembled a relationship, they were in the Commonwealth. Rosita was about to go get on her ship and they were literally passing Coco. He was like, well, you got to work so she can stay at my place tonight. I was like, my place? Wait, y'all did not just break right. them up off screen. Mm -hmm. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. But they only kissed that one year. So that year could be after he it separated it from Rosita. Rosita. But, it, but it was also something that However, to me, it was an affair because you had you had some intimate talks yearly with well, technically, he said clergy confidentiality. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. The kiss never kissed the, the priest. The kiss was different. In the beginning, it was. But was later different. on, it became a little bit more. You know, and I'm looking forward to this uh, every year. Uh, intimate and, and not necessarily sexual, but intimate. Back. I was like, how, how, how that going to work? How was going to feel? No, that was, a, that was a rhetorical comeback because he knew the answer. Right. Knew she wasn't gonna come back. Come back and be some sister wise. I don't know. No. No. <laughs> Not. But you know, he probably would. He pro okay. I'm gonna say it like this. He probably, if she would have come back, he probably still could have kept things just whatever. Oh, yeah. Because at this point, if you Rosita. You saw how him and Rosita were. Like, yes, we saw the chemistry or whatever, and you, you even see it in this with him and Anne. But him and Rosita, that worked out pretty well, too. They did. You know, I still think she should have been with Sadiq. I think we were robbed of that, but that's a whole other conversation. But but then I need to know that Father Gabriel got some game. But also, too, like, what was it that Rosita said? <laughs> what was it that Rosita said when, um, when she was sick oh. and Sadiq was in the bed? He was like, uh, he was talking about crawling in when she was like, that man doesn't have a jealous bone in his body. And he probably didn't. But if he was also sneaking off to the side saying, Anne, 
But that was that was once once a year. I know. Once a year. And we don't get any indication that anything else happened no, yeah. other than the that, top. So she and she very kiss. specifically said, I look forward, I, I was looking forward to this just sitting and talking. Because mm-hmm. as she said, you don't have time for personal relationships in, mm-hmm. in the CRM. And um, you know, I think it's it's also um interesting that she mentioned um when she was standing at the um the foot of the bed with Rick and Michonne, how she was talking about how she's had to do things and she's had to kill, you know, she was like, I've already killed someone that I know, a confidant, mm-hmm. because of what was going on. And I thought at first I was like, what's she talking about, Huck? But I didn't think that the timeline would match up. But then when you see her at the end. And they flash like all through the people that she really cared about. Huck was one of the people. So mm-hmm. I was like, okay, mm-hmm. so I guess this happened. This part right here is happening after the death. What yeah, happened death at, death. um, yeah, oh, what happened death. after, um, World Beyond. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I wonder if, mm, I don't know. You think somebody may pop up next week? No. Um, no, no, no. What you thinking? I'm just trying to figure out how this timeline works because there was a lot of stuff that happened with um with Huck and Jadis. Mm-hmm. You know, like literally, she killed Huck or she stabbed her, but Huck made sure that she destroyed um she destroyed like a whole bunch of trailers of that uh, chlorine gas. So you would think something of that magnitude would have an effect on this storyline because, you know, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago when we were talking about the summit and I was saying something about Major General Bill probably won't be there because that's like having the president, everyone. The vice, mm-hmm. everyone there. And y'all were like, but who is the threat? But if you got somebody from within your camp blowing up all your chlorine gas, mm-hmm. there is a threat there. So you gotta be... And but could, but you know, also don't know how she framed that. What, it, it, it say this happened before the summit. Huck dies and she blew up the gas. Jadis is a master manipulator. It, oh, it was a problem at the at the uh, at the site and it, it accidentally blew up, mm-hmm. or you know, and we lost Huck in it, whatever, whatever. And you you have to explain why Huck ain't around no more. No, you know, this site blew up and, because remember, because Huck let everybody else get away. Remember, she she did. helped everybody else get away. She did, she but, that facility, but that but that facility also um fell. Remember. Yeah. So I don't know. I got and here's the thing though. We're only a little part of the CRM. They probably are meeting about that. That may be one of the, what the summit. What that the may summit be a panel summit. at the summit. Yeah. A conversation I mean, with Omaha summit. talking about Omaha. Right. They could be talking about fall. all those things. And yeah. We're not seeing the head people talking about it. Yeah. And not everyone gets that information. And we, we were don't told know. that in the beginning. Yeah. Not everyone gets that information. Yeah. So and then Elizabeth, ain't that her mom? Mm-hmm. Elizabeth, what about her? Well, you know, she you know, well, a, I know we're at the end. We know yeah. what happened to her, but we don't know. And now if she shows at this summit, we know all that shit happened after this. No, I don't think she'll show up at the summit because if you remember, she was um she was arrested and and, and Jadis was still alive. Mm. She was in jail. So yeah, so this so all that stuff had to happen already. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And may I don't know, maybe this maybe the summit is maybe like you said. What they'll discuss at the summit is what happened in New York mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and how they can everything. Yeah. Yeah. Like all of it. And mm-hmm. what do we need to do going forward? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Mm, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now th- I really got to go back and look at where we are now. I'm going to have to find some time to do it. Yeah. We, we, we don't have to. And I'm sure somebody on the internet will do it once this because you know somebody else will put everything else in order all of them so i'm sure mm-hmm. they're going to plug these in mm-hmm. too into the timeline to see where what happened mm-hmm. because we know basically everything from world beyond has to has happened at this point. right because mm-hmm. she was alive through all the world beyond so this is after world beyond yeah <clears throat> and we even know with a meeting gabriel that it was after the walkers because after the, wall, the Whisperer War. Uh huh. Because they the didn't want to fuck up the, the walls. Uh-huh. Yep. Mm-hmm. So this is after the Whisperer, Whisperer War. One of their meetings was right after. Mm-hmm. And they had they clearly aren't at the CR at, at, at the Commonwealth yet. 
or on that, day, at that or, meeting. No, because, because eight, Gabriel was able to leave. You know, once you're in the Commonwealth, you wasn't really able to leave, right? So okay. it could have been after the Commonwealth. So it could have been uh, after the Commonwealth. The last no, that's meeting. what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, but being in the Commonwealth, you couldn't just leave. Yeah. So the last but meeting could have been. Yeah, they weren't at Commonwealth. I don't, I don't think they were at the Commonwealth for four years. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. And then this last meeting, not the one where she didn't show, but the meeting before is probably when everything was fine. Because you got to think that Michonne was in that mall for a year. Mm. And then going the rest of the way to find Rick. So that last meeting had to be when all the Commonwealth things was, was done. done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the war is over. Kids is fine. <clears throat> Everybody, Daryl was just not leaving. Blah, yeah, blah, blah. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or Daryl was probably still there. Yeah. Yeah. Because so. we don't know at what point. Right. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting once because I'm sure once the once the next episode comes out, if they get home, we're gonna see a timeline as uh, to where how these kids are and who's there. That's gonna determine where we fall in this timeline. I need we, Although we know Daryl's not gonna be there. I need them to come home. Are we thinking that they're going home? We only have one episode. Home. I say go home. I'm saying it's gonna be short. Five minutes of home. Like I mean minutes. I'm, I'm thinking it's short. Like, even two minutes. Like, they may not even be talking. We may just see a montage of them going home okay. and being with the kids. But Because they leave in the helicopter, but that car's still there in Wyoming. So it ain't like they can't go do what they need to do and fly back to Wyoming so the helicopter doesn't end up in Virginia. Well, that all depends on what the fuck happens next week. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We know that Wyoming is the car in Wyoming. Right. And, and if nothing else, get back to Wyoming. Right, and you can drive the record because now it's just no ain't nobody chasing you, ain't nobody looking for you. Mm -hmm. Get gone. It's true, they might be out the next week because that. Cause but we, they but have I'm saying they, they are going in the back. perfect Walking Dead. Girl. Okay, yeah, but they but, they flew from Wyoming back to Colorado. Don't make me quote Scott M. Gimple. Th this, this is, this is walking, walking Dead. dead. So anyway, you already know it's about to be some. It's gonna be some shit, but <laughs> I have faith. That the car gonna be waiting for them in Wyoming with their gas still there because they done killed everybody off. The four people who was left <laughs> in that, that, that area, <laughs> I, them three people is dead. Jade is gone. Mm -hmm. They can fly back, and then when they do get away on the helicopter from uh, Cascadia, they're gonna fly back to Wyoming and drive the west way to Virginia. Because if they get the helicopter to West Virginia, I mean West Virginia to Wyoming, there's no telling where they are. That's true. But if you take that helicopter near Alexandria, there's a chance. But hell, even if they land in Wyoming, they got to kind of low key go through Nebraska. So could they, they stop do, at Omaha? But if they do in the way that nobody's tracking them, if they take the tracker out of the helicopter, they can even get closer to home because they drop off points by home too. Yeah, that's true. Could be. Because where is like, where is Jay meeting up? Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So yeah, that's true. And but if, I, if I just blow it think, all up, then who who is coming after you? Thorn. Oh yeah, that's what I was thinking. Thorn. But, that's but they can keep her. her. No, no, they can know. keep her alive. And then if they wanted to, like, if they didn't get the green light for a season two, if Thorn is still alive at the end, that could be what makes them leave home. Will be Thorn. No, I don't see them leaving. Only reason they would leave at this point if it was a to find Daryl. That would be the only reason to leave. Cause and you, I can tell you now, they probably won't even do that because, because they've already want to look, look, look yeah. and they've already been away from these kids like too really long. So it has to be a threat, 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 and yeah. Thorn would be the threat threat. But if she comes to the well, we're gonna kill her. We not don't. even I'm sorry, we're not, Michelle gonna kill yeah, her. So we don't know how it will go if they have a she, season two, because yeah. that would be the person that stands in their way. Okay, now say they make it home along well, with Lock. If they make it Lock home, not die. If they make it home, because keep in mind they're the ones who live, what would be the point of going back out? There's no point. The whole point of this show was to get Rick home, right? Yeah, it is. Find them back together, but get them we right are right greedy. Them and get the <laughs> we are greedy. We want a season two. So we're trying to make well, what it. What season two gonna be like? I don't know. That's what I said. That's the only way it will be is because Jada is now gone. But Thorne would be the new. To be drama. Look, season two. Show me Rick with his kid. I'm I'm good. Show me show me some of the people that we left behind in the ocean. I'm good. I don't have to have all the drama. Oh. Enough. 
it's not enough. Like, but shit. But they're good, though, right? That's what I was like, we we're greedy. greedy. We're greedy. But so we what's God give us? Like, this is the walking dead. So, right. so it could be thrown. They, they may be talking all this shit about a season two. We still ain't got season two of the goddamn tales. Where them at? Where tales at? What happened with that? Really? We still missing stories. You left the end of uh, um, World Beyond with the kids going off into the world. So what the fuck happened to the kids? Are they still alive? Do we get an update? What the children? Yep. Yeah. Not, you know, not only that, We know it's but... season two of Daryl. We know it's season two of Dead City. At the end of Fear, everybody got their goddamn happy ending. So... Uh, yeah. I don't even talk about that. Yeah. I mean, and not just the kids, but you also left uh, Iris and her dad. Yeah. Or was it Hope and her dad? Hope and her dad. Yeah. In that little mall in Ithaca with the with the rest of the scientists trying to find a cure. Yeah, yeah, we gotta get to that part. Yeah, so they have to like, be world beyond. To. You can still call it world beyond. Call it something else. But you still there still has to be at least one more show. I know if, they ever, if they ever decide, because we got a couple couple continuations going on. But there would have to be like a culmination show to bring everybody back from fear. Well, Fear no, no, because no. everybody from fear went back to Walking Dead. So it would have to bring back everybody from the world beyond, everybody from Daryl and Dead City. In order to, so to show wrap up called, the story with a nice bow. The show will be called The Walking Dead CRM. And then we can have all of that. We can have the kids mm -hmm. come in there. We can have Rick and Rashawn with Morgan. Yes. Sprinkles because of Daryl, sprinkles of Carol. Yeah, because they went back to, they went to the uh, sanctuary. And them. But then also remember that there was a alternate ending to the original fear where the kids were adults. Killing oh, to the, to the original show. Remember yeah. they were, they threw that around about I want to see that. I, but I'm I'm just saying. So in their mind, the kids are still grown. I mean, the kids have made it to adulthood, basically. Yeah. And it could be where the children now maybe they find Iris or uh, uh, hoping them. And, because and that's the, the the biggest threat right now would be the CRM. So we can have a separate show with the CRM that ties everyone in a, a different well, episode. If, but if Rick and Michelle gonna take them down, where does that? Because um, that leads them trying. The kids was on their way to control. Well, they, they, some, they, they taking the summit down, but we don't know if they're still like. Some friends who are left somewhere else, just in case mm. people get taken down, or you have some rebels in there like Thorn who try to rebuild and cause havoc with the communities around, which pulls in the kids and the kids around because everything that comes close they kill. But other communities like I Commonwealth, mm -mm. I think. Like I'm trying to get where we get these people in the. <laughs> As far as the CRM goes, as far as this summit, okay, Rick and Michelle, Michelle's goal is to go get the file so they can go to fuck home. Mm -hmm. Rick still, I mean, he Rick even wants to get it, the echelon briefing. Well, not only that, but also he mentioned it earlier in this episode, he still wants to find a way to save the world. Okay. Right. So if you're thinking about the way the CRM runs now, you know, and Okafor's stance was the CRM needs to change. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Rick could go in, take care of all the people at the top or mm -hmm. like the people who are making these decisions, mm -hmm. how they're killing people and all mm -hmm. this other stuff. Now, Thorne can go one of two ways. She could. She could either be pissed off at Rick mm -hmm. for destroying what was built and go after him in the, and and therefore becoming the same way the CRM is, or she could become the person that Okafor thought her to be as far as being one of the people who can go in and change the CRM and make it better, make it what it needs right. to be. I say A. And I say A because things her. don't ever work out to be B. Yeah. It doesn't. We don't have to kill her. Right. And then also She's when you kill, you she kill, an and then you kill all the leaders, then you go home Everyone is looking around like, what do we do next? So mm -hmm. somebody's going to come out. That's like how uh, Negan comes out. Other mm -hmm. people come out and it becomes worse. Mm -hmm. And then we also trying to find a cure, which theories are, you know, Rick is a part of the cure. What well, not? There's some theories out there that Rick is a part of the cure. But we're trying to find a cure too. So that's why the CRM show 
it's a collection of everyone coming together at different points because of different reasons. Well, Scott and Lindsay that could technically just be a tale. That, no, no, not it's right. probably what because mm -hmm. tales is more anthology like, right? So this would like, this like, would be like, this would just be the government and how it influences the people around them. Yeah. And people influence the government. And Gimble has said that his, like, he would like to see uh, something where all of the shows cross over and it's just like one thing he has said. Yeah, that and we can have that. We can even uh -huh. have it with some people from Fear. Well, who's left? No. Victor. No. But uh, Morgan, not Morgan. Uh, we'll take Morgan from Madison. Fear. Madison. No, 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 no. <laughs> Madison went back to California. Yeah, so yes. we're good with that. Don't hear her. So it'll be Morgan from Fear. Yeah, but, but we are. Morgan, Morgan is the Walking Dead now. I know, but we're gonna went back, but so. we're gonna take him for fear because we don't, we don't want anybody else from fear. Well, okay, they went sanctuary. Yeah, but they were walking dead, yeah, too, walking so we can take them too. From okay, fear. so let me say, but who from fear? Yes. I wouldn't. Well, I but Alan's in the mountains. Is, but Alan Isabel could show up because in the mountains. Yeah, but Isabel still got her um CRM chocolate. That's true. That's true. So you That's never true. know. But um, um, I yeah. wouldn't mind seeing Luciana come back. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I wouldn't mm -hmm. mind seeing Daniel come back because and mm -hmm. yeah, with a story so like this, maybe they will get more for their characters because I really feel like the last couple of seasons of Fear, those get, characters yeah. were done dirty. They, was, they mm -hmm. were like mm -hmm. we should have seen a whole lot more of them. And granted, we saw we saw mm -hmm. them in the final season. But it still was not enough. Like these are characters that have been around mm -hmm. since the beginning. I agree. Mm -hmm. And they were basically thrown to the side exactly. for Madison's comeback. And I just, I that has never. I mean, we could have a whole other show about all the characters on Fear that should have been in that final season, aside mm -hmm. from the bullshit that mm -hmm. they gave us. But we won't. Mm -hmm. We won't go there. Mm -hmm. Y'all just go back and listen to our Fear the Walking Dead. <laughs> final season coverage but i didn't think was that bad whatever okay and you can you can be wrong it's okay yeah, yeah. It's okay. definitely it's not to be wrong he's saying mm -hmm. I'm saying. anywho I think it was yeah. but yeah um next week's episode is going to be interesting because as they um as they told jadis when they were trying to make a deal with her you know, they were like, okay, well, yeah, we can go back and do this. And, you know, um, what was it? Michonne was basically lying to her, but I think towards the end, they also saw there's a little bit of truth in mm -hmm. some things she was saying. Mm -hmm. They definitely need to go back and get that dossier. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. So they're, they're going to have to go back to Cascadia anyway. Rick is like, look, I can go in, pretend like, you know, I'm the, I was the only survivor of the crash. Um, Jadis had told him, yeah, you know, Bill sees your commitment or he was seeing your commitment. He was about to give you the echelon briefing. And you saw Rick's head turn like, oh, really? Right. Because he wants to know what is the I, briefing. We I want, want to know. know. And I think at this point, Michelle probably sees too. Okay, we need to know what this is because mm -hmm. we need to know be able to fight it. That's yeah. You need to know what people are thinking. Mm -hmm. Like, what is the plan? Like, are we ever going to be safe where we? Right, are? exactly. We need to know like how big is this scope? Mm -hmm. Like, is it just for the United States, or are, have y'all branched out? Because again, they don't know if there's been communication with other countries. We didn't know anything like that until. Daryl Dixon, mm -hmm. you know, with France. And even then, we don't have any communication between the French and the U.S. except for the people that was in, uh, what's her name's little little soldier, her little guerrilla group or whatever, communicating. Because obviously there's got to be some kind of communication because y'all stealing people from the United States and taking them across the water. Right. Yes. So there's got to be some so kind of there. contact there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if it's there with just that kind of lower level, it's got to be something military mm -hmm. that's going on somewhere else. So it'll be a good for them to go back. You know, we know Michonne's going to get the dossier. We know Rick is going to, from what it looks like in the promos, Rick's got the red stripes. So apparently he got his promotion. And he, he got He's the getting briefing. an echelon briefing. We see a little bit of what the echelon briefing might be. You know, there's a there's a 
a presentation going on. There's a map on, on the screen and there's like a, what was it, evacuation zone one and evacuation zone two. Okay. And there was somebody standing at a podium talking. So we know that this briefing is going on or whatever this summit is going on. So I, I don't know. I, I'm hoping that we will find out what this echelon briefing I, is. And if we don't, oh, we, I'm going to be are, we have I'm to. going to be mad. No, but we have to. Because for them to for their in, initial intention to only have one season. They, I mean, granted, you can do whatever you want later, but your initial intention was to just have one season. So it's mm -hmm. not like you can leave all these loose ends. You know what I'm and saying? And it's not even it's, a, and you know what? And the sad part is it's not a loose end. And honestly, we may never find out what the briefing is. Uh -uh. Because that mm -mm. that mm -mm. is not the oh no. I want to know. Yeah. I'm going to be mad if I don't, but I'm thinking it's not important. It is important because people have changed their thinking and they're doing things that they obviously wouldn't do because of this report, this briefing. Mm -hmm. But it's like this whole entire time, we got little information about the CRM. This is mm -hmm. the only season we have gotten this much. Mm -hmm. I can mm -hmm. see us being left with, this is all you're getting. You may get more later. I can see it. I don't want but in order for that, I can see it. Then there has to be, like, it's like those movies where Daryl yeah. has not introduced the CRM. Uh, Dead Darryl City has not introduced the CRM. But they're so there. they decide, because, hell, this took how many years to come? But they're there. Yeah. But I, I don't see them just leaving it, like, We may get ended. other stuff, but we yeah. may not just get the briefing. Oh. No, that's I think the problem. It's the point to get the briefing. That's why he's going back. Why would they let him go back and not even tell us? Oh yeah, I'm back for the echelon briefing. No, he and get not the even briefing. tell us what it is. He get the briefing. No, we, no, we it. may not get the briefing. That's no, the problem. No, no. Do that. that would not. And then he walks out that room, and we're like, okay. okay. And that's when he okay. gets into the fight. Uh, uh, you gonna tell us? Yeah, no. And then they blow everything up and go home, and you'd be like, what's the briefing? What was the briefing? The briefing was both okay. Ends. So this is what I need to see in the next episode. Okay, let's see. I need to see the echelon briefing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And whatever whatever happens at the summit, that needs to take like maybe the first 40 minutes of the episode because I need the last 10. I need them motherfuckers to go home to, to some good see. music. To some good mm -hmm. music. And I need to see, I need to physically see the reunion with the kids. I need to use up uh, both of those tissue boxes next yeah. week when we are sitting here on the couch watching this. I need to be ugly crying snot. Yeah. I need Horn. I need mm -hmm. that. Yes. That I need Michonne to kill Thorn. I need Michonne to get her sword back. <laughs> But her and I need is not there. It's I just said she need to get it back, but we also said she could get Bill's sword. She just needs the sword. It doesn't necessarily have to be her. We, we talked about her with Bill's sword. So that could happen because I'm sure he's taking it with him. Now, do you think Bill is going to die? Bill? Yes. I don't know. We haven't got much from him. I feel like if we move forward with the I don't think him, anybody that um, give us information on going to die. I don't think, I think he's no, going to still be alive for the future. So, because mm -hmm. him and you, Dawn. you made him such a, like in World Beyond, he was such, he was just such this mysterious figure mm -hmm. that, you know, he has to remain he, mysterious. that someone, yeah, and then he got something that's his, good to play. Yeah. Him. Like, no, not a random dude who we can just kill at any moment. We can't kill him. Mm -hmm. I don't know who he is. What's, oh, what's sorry. He was I'm lost. lost. Oh, okay. that's what he's known for. And that's why I say lost. Yeah, because that's why she calls him lost. I was so but, yes. I'm sorry. But, I, but he's he's not. He's not going to die. I don't think you so. Think he may get cut, you know, in a fight or something with them, but he's not going to die. You, you saw him like fighting somebody. Yeah, I, I, that was probably Thorn. Yeah, Thorn. He was probably mm -hmm. fighting Thorn. Yeah. Thorn is probably pissed. I hope she died. Oh my God! What I, hope I, to I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry, I, <laughs> I just brain freeze, no. brain freeze. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I forgot that quick, and I remember. She, okay. had, her, she had her baby. I, I know, I know, I know. I, I, I'm so sorry. She was like, I'm so sorry. You know, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Wait, what did that? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm.
But yeah, I, th- I think Bill. One thousand percent. She got it back. He was he was too mysterious and world beyond. Like anytime they breathed his name or somebody said his name, it was always one of those where it was like, oh, you just felt like like this man was like powerful. Oh, okay. Yeah, so even he said on the bench with Rick. When yeah. he called him in, like, so we're going to have to get more of him, and he is the one that so. everyone is going to have to come out to fight in the next season or show no. called the CRM. No. It's going to be him. No. Still can just be called Bill. No. If the- <laughs> and everybody's going after Bill. Well, I mean, no. if the show is Daryl Dixon, then we can name a yeah. show after another right. character. If he makes it out of the summit, he is not going to let anyone near him. So he was going to even be more mystifying and mysterious yes, because he's, be he's made it from you know, this assassination attempt uh-huh. where they tried to kill everybody. So now he's even more recluse and more secluded. But and now he's even harder to get. He don't trust nobody. He ain't let nobody right, in. But he's going to be giving out that. those orders that are going to be deadly. So everyone's going to have to work together. Dead City. Nah. Daryl. Mm. Fear. The World Beyond. The original Walking Dead. Rick and Rashawn. It's going to be everybody. Okay. They're going to have to come back and try to kill him. It's gonna be part of the plan. But if that's him and the CRM, for people. real, because if 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 all of it, okay, we granted we got our, we're gonna get some new people to kill off. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so I have a question: What if Rick and Michonne they go back to the Cascadia base? Rick finds the information about the Echelon briefing. Michonne finds the information about the Echelon briefing. What if whatever is in that briefing makes them reconsider? Oh. <laughs> I thought that too. I, mean, I did. I thought that too, that they just stay. I don't think that they will. I don't care what's in the briefing. They have Michonne whose entire goal is to get Rick home. Mm-hmm. She don't give a fuck. She don't. Yeah, but she, she don't know what's in the briefing. briefing. Right. We but I'm just saying, briefing. Every, everything that has come her way after leaving him, going back to the CR, whatever. Her end goal is to get him home. Yeah, that's before like, the briefing. It don't. I don't. I don't think she's gonna give a fuck what's in the briefing. Same way she ain't give a fuck what he's talking that's, about. That's our season. Two. Same way he ain't give a fuck about, about him. You take the boat. That's you the season. And be free. She ain't give a fuck. That shit Jadis was talking about. She ain't give a fuck. Like Thorne was talking about. She don't give a fuck. I ain't two. trying to get my man home. No, and I told you they're not getting home until those kids in their twenties. No, because they gonna no, no. they gonna no. they getting home next week. <laughs> what they do after that? They get home next week. But that is a good question. But it could be something that causes them to be there longer. She they don't go home a little she longer. She do not care. She do longer. not care. Nothing you she, can say to her. But she does. Because in the beginning, she was ready to tear it down. And she still wants to tear it down. So that makes her feel like Right. Which means she could be there a little longer. Especially if she sees what's in the briefing. She's like, you know what? I've done a year. I have a done a year. I could do another year. We better get done in another year. I want to be home next year by Christmas. I want to be home by year 10 by Christmas. It's a possibility. We don't know what's in that briefing. And then, well, see, and then if they do go home, because when they have been to Alexandria, right? They're going to go back home. And that's an outpost. Right. They... Well, no, because I think some of the people went back. They you know uh-huh, because uh-huh, remember it was an outpost when the Commonwealth when, know, but when what it the like, it's not was gonna built. it's not gonna look nowhere near like it did when you left. Oh. They'd be like, oh, is this the right address? Right. Hey, are we where are we supposed to be? Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah. Because of the wheel ba- the oh, the wheelbarrow. The um, oh, windmill is windmill gone. is gone. Yeah. And it will say it probably may still say Commonwealth on the outside. No, I think it took they, they, they I think they would have taken that down. Especially after everything that happened with uh Pamela Milton and so they were like, Yeah, no, they probably told them, they probably went back home and told the Commonwealth soldiers, okay, y'all get the fuck out. If we need some help, we'll call Ezekiel. We'll let him know. No, because now yeah. the Commonwealth soldiers are the ones who did wrong, they kicked out. You know, they living somewhere else. But now it's all one big community with just different outposts. But right. but to be honest, would... under the protection of the Commonwealth, but right. I would, which is that, um, I would led by Ezekiel and Mercer. Right. I would not keep that emblem on my on my gates, though. Oh, that's too much of a, a, a bad reminder. Maybe they change the colors to purple and white or something. They can change the color, make it a little nicer or something. Mm-hmm. 
but I would keep the sign up so people come and know we are all one community. Mm -hmm. This is Commonwealth, but give it a name, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just, it's still they left it as Commonwealth? No, it's, oh, no, it's still Alexandria. It should be Alexandria. No, no, no. Talk about the entire thing. Didn't they change the entire name? Mm -mm. It just said Commonwealth. It just says under new management. <laughs> okay. There you go. Sign hanging out front. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Did we did we skip anything on this? Mm, we talked about my name. <laughs> talked about Michelle's name. <laughs> talked about how thick Michelle was. Talked about Father Gabriel. <laughs> Talked about Jada's finally getting her motherfucking demise. Talked about them three idiots. Oh, who peed his pants and didn't want the ramen <laughs> and the tall girl. And um, them being in Wyoming, leaving ramen noodles all up and down the coast. I mean, oh, we and that bright the, yellow car. And we didn't talk about the wedding. The proposal. And then the wedding. And then the wedding. Yeah, oh, well, and then they committed to each other. Yeah, they committed to each other. Yeah. Which we already knew this. Yeah. Y'all just doing this for show now. Yeah. I'm and yours. I'm like, no. I'm yours. All this time you saying that's my wife, that's my wife, my wife. Mm -hmm. Now, that's my, that my wife. Mm -hmm. Illegally. Mm -hmm. Look. Mm -hmm. Ringally. However, Ringally. I got some Ringally. issues. I, however, I got some issues. I don't think I really want to wear a ring that um, Jay's been wearing for years, but you know, that's just me. But it's I know she didn't wear it on the finger. And it's a symbol. Way. Now I gotta wear it around my neck. I don't. I don't no, want to. Do Can we go to the nearest, you know, sales or something? <laughs> Can I get another ring? I'm sure they'll have a more formal set. I wonder what the jewelry stores are looking like ten years into the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's nothing in it though. It ain't nothing in it. I'm doing with dwarf shit. Yeah, it's it's really is. All these people like <laughs> when Glenn took a ring off a of walker to give to Maggie and clean, you know. Yeah, just yeah, Angie took the necklace from the department store. Like you don't mean shit. You remember Daryl saw the people in the in the tunnels with the money. Just left the money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even when um Isabel went back to her apartment, she left the money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Money don't mean shit. No, yeah. But you took yeah. them drugs though. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, she, she hey, that she, means something. She, she could barter with those yeah, guys. Yeah. Somewhere. And, and, and give me through the night. So, you know. It's no good here. Them drugs? Yeah. yeah. That's something. I mean, that's you something. saw that's what she was using to pay for information. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah. But, yeah, I, I think I think that uh, the little, I know it was supposed to be a proposal, but I'm, like I said, you don't have to have a priest. Or anything in this no, committing to each other. So yeah. that's why when she got down on the ground with her own. That's the that was the ceremony. That was right the ceremony. I yeah. mean, we they both are. committed to and each they both, other because they both was gripping the rock. Right. Mm -hmm. right. This but, is committed. I'm sorry. Together. You've been you've been Rick's wife forever. He's been telling yeah, me. Been telling my right. wife right. is my choice. Yes. Helen. Okay. So. And even Davis ain't that Rick's wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he been turning around. That's my wife. He walks around. That's my wife. We had to pause to at the end they buried Jadis. We didn't take note that that was a, or Michelle noticed it was a small A on a little ass rock on the outline. So if y'all missed that, go back and look. She actually they buried her. You know what? She got better than she deserved. I wouldn't let her ass on that mattress. Yes, I'm still oh, not sure though. And then did y'all notice that like Gabriel did that? And I just think. <laughs> Be in, in no, I don't, I don't, I don't, no, because you saw the you saw the um the the need to go with me. I'm thinking they did no, it artistically no, where I no. where because no. there there were guys in the background. Look, don't don't no, don't let the right. look don't let the comment uh -uh, don't let the comment se section hurt your feelings again. <laughs> but I felt that because I felt like he would be the one to do it, and I'm like. I don't feel like they would do it for real. Like, why? No, but, but I understand yeah. they need to get rid of her body because you don't want no one to find her body. And they but why like, put a nice little rock with the A? That was because at the end, she wasn't Jada's no more. She was Anne. Was okay. So, because she told and she wanted to yeah. save other people. Okay. I, I would give her a name. Yeah, no, that was not have her because you saw the guys in the background then. You yeah, saw I was just trying to. But did y'all know? But you that, know what? Oh, they not buried her. They may just have made, made a little thing. Not they buried her. Cause you can't bury, you can't dig in that rock. They, they bury, threw her somewhere underneath some bushes, and then they they oh, that's, that's what they, they do. Bury. A lot of times, they they just when they instead of digging, they put the person on the ground. They put the rocks. Oh, the it, it looked like it wasn't even like that. But no, I, I, mean, mean, you know, I see that a lot. I'm just I'm trying to help them out. No, you know. they, but did you notice it was the three people who bit her? 
It was the man who peed his pants. Who did the next? Oh, yeah, it she was. That. At first, yeah. he was on rewatch. I was like, oh, I mean, he was that's just, karma. Yeah. Karma. Yeah. No, 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 was in there. Yeah. Except for the uh, Whopper Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it was a few Whoppers. It wasn't until we, we was on in the yeah, middle yeah. while we were talking. I was like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look at her goofy yep. ass. Mm-hmm. Who's going to be of some help? They helped your ass out already. Right. Better than ramen. Yeah, they did. Because them burying her and putting that nice rock, that was really nice of them. It was. Yeah, it was a little bit. I wouldn't have done that. I, I'm with Casey. I would have left her. I, I, I wouldn't have. I mean, no, I would have hit her body for reasons. I mean, of them I coming back to look, Rick but I wouldn't the, have done that nice little place next to the river. The river. However, we got to give her something, another ten percent. So now we can move up to thirty five percent because she did ultimately save the one you love. Cause she really could have said After it was an she egg. killed all the people that she killed and made the but she could have she could have left him to die. She could have left him to die. She could have had she could have gave him up as an A to get her position because they wanted A's. No, but she, she, had, she, was, yeah. she was still in because you she know about the whole what she doing even up until the last minute. We saved your life. We saved your but life. But I'm saying we that may be why they put the nice rock there because she did ultimately save him at the end. Let's throw away everything else. She saved him. She made that choice because he could have been dead. Let's think, friends. We wouldn't have but this that was show the first if she left. So, and I saw what were we giving extra percent for? I yeah. gave her credit for that. You look, got credit for saving him. Look, okay. Look. For everything you did subsequently from saving him, you've been a dick about. Look, if we want to talk about the it, it, don't true. forget I, I, do, I will say. go back home and kill everybody you love, even yes. some people I like. Her. Then don't put a nice stone next to the river. Other people didn't get that. So that was probably also because of how she saved him. That's, that's a 25 got her back. They baby. needed to cover her naked body because Rick had to use her uniform to get back into the CRM. Right, but they didn't have to put a nice stone to A. In case they ever go back and want to kick that goddamn stone. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just oh. saying. Oh, goodness. go. Would have left her ass on that mat and let her turn. Yeah, that that's one. Yeah, we yeah. need to walk her jadis. Mm, right. We're going to have to ask her about that. that, that mm-hmm. <laughs> she she got two she got two nights of death. She got she got mercy. 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 She got mercy, she got mercy twice because she got mercy for him shooting her and mercy for just giving her a nice spot. Again, by the river. And I will say I enjoyed Rick's position when he killed her because we haven't seen that in a while. With yeah. him with the yeah. with the mm-hmm. yeah. we got that we ain't seen that. Yeah. yeah, she she got way more than she deserved because, way if, more. because if you want to talk about I saved your life, he could have left your ass in the heaps after Simon killed all yeah. your people. He could have killed you after you shot him, he could have killed you after you betrayed. Right. But still, the least she could do was save him. She still didn't. Have to. She but it's the least she, she could have just walked on by, got on the helicopter. But she did, because she was trying to get her ass away too. And she still could have said that but he was didn't. an A. Well, she did. So that's why she got so mercy at the that's, end. That's why she, she got, got mercy at the end because she saved the mercy also because she gave up where the dossier is. And mercy because she gave the ring. She kept and she him. showed that she was A. She kept him. Yeah, I was going to go with thirty five. No, twenty five percent for the save, five percent for the dossier, five percent for the ring. Mm-mm. Yeah, <laughs> give me that thirty five percent. Because okay, you that's still over about, fifty. No, it's less than fifty. Mm-mm. No, I'm talking about it's over fifty. That she's just oh. horrible. She's horrible. She's horrible. She's horrible. <laughs> Negan has done more for Rick and Michonne than Jada says. Negan saved the people of Alexandria. From yeah, the he has. He, he got more places she did. So if anybody does, she we, that's no, another day another don't, side because we don't deserve it. No, no, every time right. she get, every and time she has, she was like a little kid who didn't get their way. Well, if you don't do it, right. then I'm gonna tell. If you don't do it, I'm gonna tell. Either do what right. I say or I'm he gonna redeem himself. himself. So he's not even in the verses on but this what, one right but here. What I'm saying is, if 
talking about who deserves mercy, Jadis is not one of them. No. Oh. Well, she still had to die. Well, she just got mercy on how she is going to end up. Walking around killing people or buried under some rocks. They could have left her as a walker. I wouldn't have been mad. Now, she didn't give that dossier. They should have left some wolves to her. I don't care. Tear the pieces. Because when you're dying, come on now. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be petty anymore. You need to let it go. And she was letting it go. She was freeing herself mm -hmm. to go back to the original Anne. So that, that's what get her to 35? Mm -hmm. Okay. No. I'm glad she did. Mm -hmm. And she got points when she was with Gabriel, too. But she showed her vulnerability and her She's like, I know you feel bad about my disease last time. But she did. Yeah. Because if she did, she could have brought that one. So peanuts. she going to get on the the helicopter oh, no. people know. Because oh, no. the thing is, oh, no. she told she them when it comes to them. <laughs> no, that was a that whole She was in a personal leave with borrowing <laughs> an okay. aircraft. Okay. You don't think she could have took some rashes hold and threw a box on the floor? She could have got some wrong. She could have got some wrong. So here's my question. You talking about, okay, so she put in a request for the flight. Where the hell are you going on your personal day that you need a fucking hell of that part? I don't know, because they should have checked her on that. Because they should be keeping Once reports. He, 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 like, he, he, like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Like, where are you going, like, every year the same day? Because it's in your flying to, you got to be clumped. And I wouldn't minutes. trust her anyway, because she was a spy for us to, at the get-go. So she shouldn't have that access to be able to go somewhere. She's not that top, top. Be going somewhere. Whenever she felt like it, once a year. Yeah. So, she, well, she was able to go back and see that the building collapsed and the yellow car was gone. She decorated Warren Officer Jadis Stokes. Three years ago, <laughs> she wasn't when she went and had her little um, rendezvous with Gabriel. Yeah, because I was going to say, I think she got the promotion after the, she got the promotion after all the stuff that went down on World Beyond. Right. Mm -hmm. So you shouldn't, so that means so, they are paying attention. To some of their workers, they not paying attention. They soldiers, they not paying attention. Mm -hmm. Get away with a whole plane. Yeah, the whole chopper, the so. whole chopper gone. And you mean to tell me she couldn't grab some rations on the way out to chopper? She could have. Because I'm sorry, if you, you take something had... as big as a chopper, right. as big as a chopper, you hear it going off, you hear it starting up, you hear the blades going, you hear it coming back. Mm -hmm. What do you do with that? Yeah, and yeah. you gotta stop and get fuel. And you know they don't yeah. just keep fuel. What do you think? You was happy. I'm, oh, I'm going to go check this other location. I'm going to go back to the other thing. And, and you're supposed to be working. Arrived. It just never so arrived. So then that means you were supposed to be working when you said you checked out these locations? And we know they got communications. Or were they you on their little computers. Uh, they got their little lead? TVs. They got the little radios. Mm -hmm. They got the little beacon. She could have told uh, She could have told Gabriel, hey, if you go back to the heaps and open up this uh, file cabinet, you'll find some cans of pudding. Because I know she didn't take those with her. She got food there. Remember? She was training people to the CRM for supplies for her people. Right. So it would be there. Mm -hmm. And she had stuff sitting in here. And you know that's not the only stash she mm -hmm. had. And Morgan didn't need it all when he was there. No. Mm. Jade is trash and she got what she deserved. Exactly. Finally. Took longer, goddamn I, 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 Now I, I, just I, I was, what she deserving. The nuances and the little bits, I'm not disagreeing. I just <laughs> <laughs> the reason why she's buried. The reason why she got shot instead of left to be a walker. Because we could have been petty too. And let you just walk but Sean was petty in the beginning. She shouldn't have been petty in the end because she took them goddamn yeah, noodles back to the noodles for the people. Even Rick was like, really? Like, like, hey, like, like, huh. They don't deserve it. I'm surprised you took the noodles. She was like, they, they put a the gun on us. They don't be. Like, I'm not giving not them like the noodles. Be hungry. That's what she said. Be they hungry. So, mm. But I, I, I still enjoyed the episode because we saw another side of her before she passed away. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, mm, okay. We got Father Gabriel. Yeah. And, yeah, and, and how he brings the other side to people. He's very comforting. Mm -hmm. He's a father. I know. But that ain't how he turned the hell out. Yeah. <laughs> In the beginning. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Like she said, there's still people who need to give your ass. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but 
Okay, we got any last comments about this episode? We only have one episode left. As far as we know, we only have one episode left uh-huh. in this series. Now, they could pull an okie doke on us after the episode next week and be like, hey, guess what? Coming back for season two or... They may not. I don't. I don't. Okay. I my hopes ain't up for something. season two. My hopes are not up. So if I get one, I'll be pleasantly surprised. But my hopes ain't up. For yeah, one. I don't think. Because so. they both got too much going on. They do. But you know what I mean. I'm sure they had to take time out just to get this right completed. And I still Six feel like however long it took, they can probably get them back to be guests. Yeah. Stars. If they do that idea where the CRM is trying to take over and everyone comes together. Okay. Yeah. Because they had to take out time just to be dedicated to this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they did a damn good job. Yeah, they did. did. They put a lot of love into it. Mm -hmm. It was worth the wait. This was worth waiting for. Rather than giving the movies that they said they were going to give us, this was worth it. They did it right. Mm -hmm. And I'm enjoying every every little step. However, I would still take a movie. A movie would be good. Yeah. That's still be a good wrap up. And it's the CRM. Let's keep show up in this next goddamn episode. (laughs) Where the fuck is he? Because I need to see (laughs) the reunion with him and Morgan. I need to see the reunion between him Him and and um, Daryl. Mm -hmm. I have to see that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are my favorite scenes when those two Mm -hmm. they got together. Mm -hmm. I was balling. I love it. I gotta see it. Yes. That that scene mm-hmm. where they finally rest, where Daryl finally escapes from Negan, mm-hmm. and he's at the hilltop when Rick. Comes. Yeah, I know. I'm about to start crying now. <laughs> That's what I, I mean. I love it, and I need to. I'm gonna need to see that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The children are great. Yeah, they're great. But you need. But to I see need him, to see. Yeah, from, yeah. Those people from the beginning with mm-hmm. the people who made it through all the seasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Really, just Daryl and Carol. I don't really care about everybody else. Everybody else there. From season one. Yeah, you know true. what? And I and season two and season three. Right. Right. So, and I don't even care about Maggie. I don't care. Maggie don't need to. I don't need a reunion between me because you know she still was pissed off, even though she, she chased her around. around. I I know. So they don't need to be together. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> well, I mean, technically speaking, Daryl was too, but him and Daryl. But that's made different. Amends. They did. Yeah. Yeah. Daryl's yeah. like, I just don't agree. Yeah, Maggie was dis- too, we agreed Maggie to disagree. was too hell bent on trying to kill Negan. Mm-hmm. Lost focus. Yeah. Right. And then, yeah. you know. End up where she at anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, okay. All right. Well, on that note, that is it for our show. You can find us online at www.fandomhybrid.com. We are on social media, on all the social medias at Fandom Hybrid. You can chat with us on our Discord channel. You can watch our videos on our YouTube channel. And you can listen to us on all major podcast streaming platforms. Thanks for listening. We hope you join the conversation next time.